Hey, what's up, guys? Chung here. Uh, I want to talk about another DP problem, uh, number 256, Paint House. <sighs> okay, so let's take a look. Okay, you're given like uh, a 2D array here, and the row, the number of rows are the, represents the number of houses which we need to paint, and on each row. There are like three elements in total. And the three elements stand for red, blue, and green. It means that to paint the, the ice rose house, if you use the, let's say, this is the red, blue, and green, what's the cost for using any of the, num any of the colors to paint the, the current rose house? And we need to return the minimum cost we need to uh, we can we can we can spend right uh, if we want to paint out houses. The only constraint here is that you cannot paint two adjacent houses with the same color, right? So uh, let's say house. This is a house, right? House uh, zero, one, two, three, four. Right, and there's there's this color. Let's see, there's a red, uh, red, blue, and a green. Right, so there's there's some numbers here. Right, so we're gonna define a DP. Uh, so the DP, right? I and J. What does this mean? I and J. It means for for a house I, right? For a house for a house I, and for house I, if we paint the house I, uh, we paint we paint the current house I with the with color with color J. And we get the minimum cost, right? The minimum cost. So DPIJ stands for the minimum the minimum cost of of painting the house I with the color with the paint with the color J, right? So how do we? Conduct these things, right? So let's just, let's take a look. So for for house I, right? Let's say we're we're trying to paint house three, right? And and the color we uh since there are three d different options, we need to try all of them, right? So for for house three, let's say if you want to paint with paint the color with with blue here, right? And then what's the what's the minimal cost of painting the number house three with blue, right? So this is gonna be let's say with the DP DP like uh, three, right? Three blue, right? What's the DP of three of blue? So since you cannot paint two houses, right, with the same color. So it has to be from. So it means it has to be uh, when has to be pre from previously red or green, right? So basically, it means it has to be the the minimum the minimum value coming from the the, the when we paint two, right? So when we paint house two, we need to uh, we need to get those minimum values from from the red or the green color of painting house two, right? DP one. So this is gonna be the Three, right? So basically, so I means it's gonna be I minus one, right? In this case, it's gonna be gonna be two, right? And then what's the so gonna be red, right? Red. So because we need to do a minimum here, right? Do a minimum, minimum of this red and DP, DP like what? I minus one of green, right? 
plus plus what plus the current va current paint cost of painting number three right that's going to be the cost cost of of uh i and blue right so that's the minimum value if we want to paint the current the current house with, with the color blue and we need to do the same thing for all the other two colors right uh, red right and three green right so in the end in the end when we traverse all the houses we just need to get the minimum from the last dp from the last dp erase right because each of them will have three options so we need to just get the last of them among all of them uh cool so let's try to let's try to code this thing right so first uh let's do a you know what let if if not if not it's it's always good to do a sanity check right if there's nothing we just return zero right and then we do a m equals to what m equals to a cost uh length of cost right that's the uh that's the number of the houses basically and n will be uh yeah we can do a three here because we know it's gonna be always three so we or we can do a like uh you know length of uh cost zero that's the uh that's the 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 reg the normal way of doing us this the dp range but in this case we can just do a three here because we know it's um it's a it's a by three right so and then let's do a dp here dp equals to so we're gonna have a two uh two arrays right two d arrays here so it's gonna be a let's see a zero uh let's let let's do a zero yeah let's do a zero and uh What is that? So the first thing is going to be n, right? N for this thing in range in range m, right? And we need have we need to have a starting point, right? So the starting point will be uh, when m equals to one, right? So if there's only one house, we need to paint, right? So what's the what's the dp value if there's only one house, right? So it's going to be the same, right? So for the one house, the the dps for each of the house will be itself will be the cost itself right because there's no previous previous painting so it doesn't really matter wh which one we choose so it's either basically this dp zero right that's the a three uh three length three of array right equals to what equals to cost cost zero right that's that's our our starting point right so if there's only one house right since dp zero we, we're not creating a n minus one plus uh, a times m m m plus one uh, dp array here. Since in this case we don't need that, we can just use like the same length of m and n. And for for the initializations, you know the first zero means there's only one for house one, right? For house one, what's the other possible possibility to paint the, ho the house? That's the same as the cost zero, right? And the the minimum value of painting those things will also be zero because there's no previous painting cost, right? And then since we already we already processed the uh, uh, what no, house number one, then we can just start from from house number two, right? Remember it's a zero it's a zero based, right? So that's why we start from one two m, right? So what's gonna be that thing, right? So we can just simply write this thing, right? So for DPI, right? And let's because we, we're gonna use the the index to represent the color here, right? So it doesn't really really matter, right? What color is this? We can just use uh, let's say to use zero to represent uh, red or blue or green it doesn't really matter. So let's let's just pick zero to be the the red, and then what what is the what is the the minimum value, right? Of when of when we print, painting the current the ice house with colors red right so it's gonna be the minimum right of the previous one right so we have to it cannot be the same as the previous one that's why we use i minus one right 
class, I'm sorry, the zero, right? And we need to find the, the lesser one from the previous, uh, previous two other colors, basically, right? And plus what? Plus the current cost, right? The car current cost of i and zero, right? That's our current cost. So we just do it for the other two here, for one and two, right? For one, that's going to be zero and two, and here will be one, and here that's going to be zero and one. So here will be two, right? So in the end, we just simply return the minimum from the last DP, which will be the last house, right? The, in the for the last house, what's the pos, What's the minimum value of those? And that will be our result. Let's see. Cool. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward and a little bit improvements uh, about this space complexity is that as you as you guys have maybe have already noticed that we don't have to create a separate a separate uh, DP arrays to store all, all the previous results because because all, all we need is a is a previous re, previous result right so which means we can either use like uh, a variable three variables to store the last the last uh, house uh, minimum cost for all the broad colors, or we can just simply use the cost array itself, right? Because if that's the case, we can even save this for this step here, right? Basically, it's just uh, um, we just do uh, do this, right? And instead of using this here, we just do a cost, right? We just simply replace every, all the DPs with, well, with the cost itself. Right. Because we don't care about all the, the other results. You know, if we can modify the, the input parameters, right, then we can just simply do this. And then it should work. Yeah. Cool. I think, yeah, that's it for this problem. It's pretty straightforward. So we just loop through uh, try each, each color for the current house and then we just get uh, since it cannot be the same as the previous one we just uh, get the the last minimum cost for the other two colors and we get the lesser one from them and then we just uh, plus the current uh, colors cost and in the end we just return the minimum from the last the last house all right cool guys thank you so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys soon